Hey guys, it's Paul and it is Monday morning um, and we have a whole lot of orders. Uh, we have over a hundred. I think Shan said 107. Is that right? Uh, uh, now it's 108. 108. 108 orders. Wow. Okay, so we're going to show you some of them. We have some viewer shout outs and we have some cool new stuff that you've never before seen. So I'll get us started. Um, I have a couple different DVDs and CDs and stuff. Um, I have a movie. What is this? Change of Habit. This is an Elvis Presley and Mary Tyler Moore movie. I had no idea that they appeared in a movie together, but here it is. <laughs> um, I ended up picking up several Elvis movies at a thrift store a while ago. Um, I may have even shown them on a on a thrift store haul, but I think I think I got them before we rebooted the channel. So anyway, this sold for ten seventy five, free shipping, which is an odd number for me, but. But it's what it is. 1075 free shipping. <laughs> um, next up, I have two little wishables. These are from the advent calendar. Yay, advent calendar. These are non-therapy, non-enabling wishables. We have the Christmas wreath and the little mint. These were $14.95 total for the two of them. That's a bargain, people. Um, so $14.95 for the two. Then I have a CD. This is I think the band's name is Thousand Foot Crutch. Crutch with a K. And this is Welcome to the Masquerade. I'm down for a good masquerade. Um, this is a brand new sealed DVD. This sold for $9.95 with free shipping. Um, so that was a great deal considering it was $12.99. Probably at a bargain price before. Let's see. I have one more media thing. This is... Lyle Lyle Crocodile, a 4K <laughs> Blu-ray. So two different rhymes there. Um, this is factory sealed. This sold for $19.95, free shipping. Now, this I actually got as part of a big Blu-ray slash DVD bulk buy lot um, I bought from, from a thrift store. And this was one of the, like I had time to kind of look through it and price out some things. This was one of the more valuable DVD or Blu-rays in there. So um, so that price, I, I had assumed when I bought it. Let's see, some other stuff. Uh, here we go. Lego. Brand new Lego set. Harry Potter. This is the Harry and Hermione Granger big figure set. Um, this, is a, this is a heavy set. A lot of pieces in here. You get to build a huge Harry Potter and Hermione minifigure. Um, this sold for, where's it at? $91.95. So I sold four of these over the weekend. Um, a couple of them at $89.95, then I upped the price $2. So $91.95 is a new price. It'll climb up as I as my inventory diminishes. Um, this is a set that I bought on a super clearance a while ago at Target. So I'm into these for like $54 after tax. Um, basically the price I'm selling them for, I'm just getting my money back, but that's totally fine. These have been retired for a couple years and they just don't seem to be going up in value very much. I may be selling them too soon, but um, yeah, just, you know, unless unless you you want a big Harry or Hermione minifigure for display, which they're cool, um, this set just kind of doesn't go with much else. Um, but I could totally see Harry Potter people loving this. So anyway. That would look really good built and on a bookshelf. They do. And now there's a Dobby that I think is of the same scale. Cool. So you can buy the Dobby. Um, you know, there's other big Harry Potter, because like there's Fox the Phoenix and Hedwig the Owl. I think that's it so far. Anyway, it's a cool set. Um, it's just something I have a lot of. They're taking up a lot of space. So I'm willing to sell them a little bit cheaper than I normally would. But it's getting out of here along with three of its friends. All right. A couple more things. I have a Mulan on it. This is from the Disney Princess Castle Collection. This was the Mulan Imperial Palace ornament. Uh, these are brand new. Um, this sold for $59.95. So that was a decent price. I forget how much these were retail. Oh, there it is right there on, on the back. $30 retail. So um, the ornaments sold out. Most of the collection sold out pretty much immediately in the early releases. Once it got to be the later releases, some of the items lingered. The ornaments were always sold out like super quick. I only ended up getting Mulan ornaments. A Harvey's purse, or Harvey's bag. 
This is a fold-over crossbody. It's the Star Wars Vintage Figure Collection. Wasn't that supposed to be your purse? No, your I have a tote. Boba Fett one. Oh, you have a Boba Fett one. Yeah. That would be him right there. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. So there we go. Uh, this sold for $240, um, $240 plus shipping. Um, that's a great deal for for the person who is buying it because these have long been out of print or whatever, out of production. Can't get them anymore. Um, but again, we have a lot of Harvey stuff that we need to move along. List. List. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> I'm trying it, to. I'm looking to Maybe, see. Oh, you know what? We'll do that as a storage Sunday. Oh, but I could give a sneak peek right here. I think if, it's safe. If you want to okay. give a sneak peek, go ahead. You're fine, employee. I'm going above your head. Nobody can see. Over there is a huge stack of boxes. Here, let me put this this way. See that big thing of brown boxes? That is all Harvey stuff that has never even been unboxed. So to me, just like magic, we can do a storage Sunday on that. Yeah, we could. It, that's gonna be fun because there's gonna be a lot of stuff that we don't remember buying, especially you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Shopkins, uh, this was the Real Littles Mega Pack. You get 26 different surprise surprises in here. They were counting the packaging along with the Shopkin, so 13 Shopkins, 13 packages. Pretty cool. Uh, this is $29.95. Uh, again, these are out of production, out of print. Um, these are really cool because, like Shannon and I have said from the beginning, these would be great for display for like a dollhouse. If you want to know who I would be, I'd be the grape jelly. <laughs> All right, last thing for me. You have to use your imagination. Shannon's going to do a screenshot. <laughs> it's going to be a puzzle. Again, from the, prince, from the Castle Princess collection, um, we sold an Aurora puzzle. I don't have an Aurora puzzle right here. It's in storage, so Shannon's going to do the screenshot. But this is a Belle version. Maybe Shannon's going to do a screenshot. Yeah. This we is... sold it on Poshmark. So we did. Thank I, you. Thank you. I forgot to say that. I don't know how to get a screenshot yet on Poshmark uh... without showing somebody's info. Oh, oh, but I'll try. Oh. Okay. Um, I could just okay. put a screenshot of the puzzle. Yeah. So we do have it listed on eBay. We also have it listed on Poshmark. So. Okay. Um, and we have more. Just saying. <laughs> Lots more. Please help us yeah. out and buy an Aurora puzzle. So it sold for $20 plus shipping on Poshmark. Which is a money loser. Paul yes. has to pay Chipotle for a burrito. I do. I do. Not so, only do you not get to yeah. buy a burrito, you have to pay for the I'm burrito. Going, I'm going almost a full burrito in the hole for that one. Yep. Because these were $25 plus tax. And then, of course, then their selling fee. We sold for, we sold for $20. Including... And, and, you know, their seller yeah. fees, which are $4 on yeah. the 20 So, you know, kind of do the math. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm definitely negative a burrito there. <laughs> That's how we make money here. Anyway, um, so this line of puzzles is really cool. Actually, this... this that pu puzzle's cool. I'm this eyeing that one. puzzle is one of my favorites right here. Yeah. Um, the Aurora one is like the quintessential fairy tale puzzle, in my opinion. Um, or the quintessential fairy tale castle in puzzle form. <laughs> I personally like this puzzle a lot. Yeah, we ended up getting a lot of Aurora puzzles. They have not performed the way I have wanted them to, and we're, time for them, we're to, go. them to go. So anyway, um, so yeah, so this is what it looked like. Pretty cool. Um, so twenty dollars plus shipping on Poshmark. Hey guys, so it is my turn now, and I have a mess over here. Paul brought all my stuff over, but there's a big pile, so it's not going to be smooth today. Big pile. But that's okay because it is Monday and things are already not going smooth today. <laughs> I had a very big blunder in the shipping department. Oh, another sale. Um, in the shipping, I shipped 26 labels before realizing our return address was wrong. So I had to void all 26 labels, which were already on the packages, reprint new labels, and apply for refunds. So it's been a day guys anyway really thankful for all the orders we have so we're just gonna get started I'm probably not gonna do a screenshot of all of these just because there's a lot of them I'll let Paul kind of zoom in over here these are more of the little Paw Patrol figures that I have been talking about and sharing on the channel they have the little like ball bearing in the bottom so they roll well not well on the cardboard but they're really cute um, we're into these for a dollar plus tax each, and this lot sold for 
$23.94. Well, nice. So not bad. And we just had another sale. Is that what just sold? Oh, cool. Thank All you, right. employee. So we're going to share this. This just sold. Is it to a viewer? No. Okay. This is a Gund P. Lushes or P. Yeah, P. Lushes Pets. This little one just sold for $15. 15 And actually, we have another one, and I'm assuming it was to a different buyer. Um, we sold this one over the weekend, and this one was probably $15, too. Let's yep. see. Yes. So $15 each. These are super cute little plushies. If you guys have a plushie collection, or if you know somebody who would love plushes, these are really, really soft, cute, adorable little plushies. So those are going out today. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. We have an interesting order. I'm trying to find it. There it is. This order is going to be $42.94. Um, this is an interesting combo. Paul's laughing. Why? Just because it's just an combo. interesting combo. It's an interesting combo, and I am so thankful for this buyer. So, first off, uh, the buyer purchased this Big Thunder Railroad Minnie Mouse plush, and we have like a whole collection of them back there in that shelving. This is another thing that we're really happy every time one sells. And they bought something else. She's not going to sit there. They bought something else that we're really happy every time one sells. This is a bathing suit. Now that it's winter, it's a good time to sell a bathing suit. Ah, uh, the Mondays. So our memory card was full, so the camera shut off. So back to this. You know, this is really bad because I was addicted to drinking Barks root beer. And I gave it up in July. I have not had a root beer since July. Actually, I haven't had soda since July, but we'll just talk about my love, my love for Barks root beer. And man, do I want one today. Like a, a true addict, I want a root beer really bad. I'm not gonna get one, but I want one. If I have one more thing that happens, the root beer may be happening, I don't know. We'll see. Everybody's like, stay strong. Anyway, bathing suit, winter time. I'm so thrilled to be selling a bathing suit in winter time. Um, it's a pretty bathing suit. It is a very pretty bathing suit. It's from Swimsuits for All. Their newest tags. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the, there's the tag. Their new tags. We purchased these for basically about two dollars each, um, including tax. So this buyer's purchase was forty-two dollars and ninety-four cents, and I am happy to see these two things going to a new home. We have plenty more, so they should take some friends with them as yeah. they're going out the door. Uh, did you have something to say? Nope. No. Okay. Um, next, let's do a viewer sale because viewer sales are always super fun. So Jacqueline, <laughs> our, our employee, is crawling underneath the camera to stay out of uh, the shot. That was pretty funny. Um, Jacqueline, who might like to see our employee? No, <laughs> he's laughing. She purchased some of our wishables, which are really awesome. So she purchased the castle and the ornament. And were these, I'm looking at Paul, were these from the original video? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the, those, they the, are the last. The, they're the last two that were remaining from, from the, the original, original video. So now yes. we're out of things that opened on the original video. But um, we actually shipped your order a couple, two days ago. Yes. Saturday. We Saturday. shipped your order on Saturday. So these are just stand-in uh, wishables. Yours are already on the way to you. Um, but we we have plenty, so we could hold them up and show them. That's right. <laughs> Demonstration models. Yes. So Jacqueline, thank you very much for your order. Um, we appreciate it, and you had a good pick. I, this is, I think, my favorite wishable out of the calendar. I love the little like gingerbread house. It's pretty cool. So thank you again. We really appreciate that. Uh, let's see, what else do I have here? Hallmark pumpkin. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, what's a Hallmark pumpkin in a box? It's this. So these are Hallmark mystery ornaments that we purchased and opened on one of our channels. So this one is a uh, Nightmare Before Christmas pumpkin in a box. Um, these little ornaments have different rarities. So, you know, some were harder to get. I don't remember if this was... That was a super rare. Was that the super rare? Yep. Okay. That sold for $22.95, which is awesome because 
that helps us recoup some of the money spent to film that video. These cost us uh, $5.50 each with tax. Yep. So. And that's a perfect example of the rare thing selling for a lot of money and the, and the normal common and just like what's quote unquote rare selling for not very much money. Cause if at all, yeah, if at all, cause we, we have the, we have the normal ones listed for right around $6 each. Right. Which, you know, after fees and stuff, we're actually losing a little bit of money on, but right. for us, we are not buying these specifically for resale. We're just trying to recoup money spent from a video. Right. Right. That, that's, that's not to, not to make anybody feel bad for us. Don't cry for us, Argentina. Um, no, because Paul, he'll just pay for burritos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's more to tell people the realities of opening stuff up. So if you want to have a toy or figure unboxing channel on YouTube, we know some of you have written and said you would love to have that. Uh, it's a lot of fun. The shopping is especially fun, <laughs> but it is quite pricey. So we have two channels. We spend about four, five. Close to six. It's close to six. Close to six thousand dollars a month buying stuff to open on the channel. So you can see why we want to recoup <laughs> some of that money. A lot of people think that if you have an unboxing channel, you just get tons of stuff sent to you, and that is not the case. Well, you could get tons of stuff sent to you, but people want to send you garbage, and we don't want to share garbage <laughs> on the channel. So um, we probably get, I don't know maybe one to two percent i was gonna say i don't know how this comes out percentage wise but i was gonna say like one to two videos a month the product has been sent to us but if you guys watch the channel you'll know because we always say if product was sent to us if we don't say hey this was sent to us we bought it with our own money part of that six thousand yeah, dollars my burrito fund yeah <laughs> all right uh, i'm looking these okay these are Shopkins Happy Places. These are part of the Royal Trends collection. Um, these, I think, used to cost like five or mm -hmm. so yeah. dollars each. Paul bought these on clearance. So do you remember what you had paid for I them? I think about two dollars each. Okay, about two dollars each. These have been a couple years retired now. These actually did really well. These sold for $25.99 plus shipping. So Burrito. Yeah, good little unicorn and prince or princess here. And we have another viewer sale, which Yay. is awesome. So this is going to be from Val. And Val bought a lot of pins. So um, I will put the screenshots up of these. This one is really awesome. It's the Winnie the Pooh, the mini adventures of Winnie the Pooh. And it opens up. It looks like the little like VHS or DVD case, which is really cute. We have a Pooh Bear with a Honey Pot pin. We have a little like chibi looking Pooh Bear. Which it's is the cute. Wishable. It's the Wishable Pooh Bear pin. Is it the Wishable? Yeah, Wishable Pooh Bear. It's a Wishable. They're kind of chibi looking. They are. And my favorite one, the little Gingham Pooh Bear. I just love this pin. I think it's super cute. This whole Gingham line of pins was very cool. So these four pins went for $43.80. So Val, thank you so much for your purchase of all these Pooh Bear pins. Uh, we really appreciate it. For those that want to know, pins range how much they cost us, just depending on uh, the brand. Uh, like if you buy from Shop Disney, they're a lot more money than if you buy from other places. But generally, let's say about seven to eight dollars each on average. And those are things that we open up again on our channels. Um, so thank you, Val, for giving our Pooh Bear pins a new home. And to finish off the video, we're going to talk about Paul's shame poo. Here he is. If you guys have been viewing the channel for a little while, you know about the shame poo. This is a Winnie the Pooh Easter plush. Was he 2020? I think 2022. So. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Only last year. <laughs> um, every year the Disney store would do plushies. I don't. I mean, I guess they're still doing them online, but you can't like go into the store and buy plushies anymore. I don't know if they're still doing dated ones or not, but.
but this was the 2022 Pooh Bear super cute plushie obviously it's new in package this sold for $18.95 and if you guys want to know why he's the shame Pooh you're gonna have to find the old video or maybe ask in the comments and somebody can explain to you what the shame Pooh Bear is about but anyway he's a super cute little Pooh Bear it's more like Paul's shame not it's nothing to do with the bear it's Paul <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up and get these packages ready into the post office. And Paul's going to wait in a very, very long line because our post office, the machine that you could check in and scan things broke. So now he has to wait in line with 700 other people trying to get Christmas stuff out. So wish him luck. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.